Elon Musk bite off more than he can chew? Or does he know to take the manageable bites that can be chewed in the recommended number of times before swallowing? Find out more today. Let's <laughs> go! We're sorry. Ah. We're sorry, headphone users. I'm not. F you, headphone users. <laughs> Be brave. Elon Musk is pumping them brakes, but we aren't talking about pumping brakes on a Tesla. Oh, we pumping? No, no. We're talking about the Red Dragon, Ooh. SpaceX's planned upgrade to its uncrewed Dragon capsule that was originally scheduled to make trips to Mars in Ooh. 2018, and then was rescheduled 2020, mm. and now has been postponed to <laughs> shrug emoji. But now NASA has spilled them beans and said that they were informed by SpaceX that the Red Dragon program has been put on the back burner for now. So SpaceX's short-term Mars plan seemed to be in flux. But could this be the end of their plans to reach and eventually colonize Mars? Mm -hmm. I mean, their shirts do say Occupy Mars, so no. 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 Musk says he'll update us on the state of SpaceX's Martian plan by the end of September, and we are excited to see what lies in store for Elon Musk and the Red Planet, because Mars is really the perfect place for Elon Musk's summer home slash supervillain lair, slash Elon Musk. Slash family vacation pad. It's also worth noting that SpaceX is still moving forward with their crewed Dragon capsule update, and they're aiming for a test launch of their Falcon Heavy rocket in November. Maybe the next iteration of a SpaceX Mars craft will be completely powered by his legion of venomous bats. How many wings to get to Mars? You can't fly in space because there's nothing to push it, off of. Well, how many teraflops from a teriflap from a venomous bat could you get if you put it into the space hole of a SpaceX rocket? Did you just fist yourself? No. Moving on from there, Elon Musk has been raising money for Neuralink, his startup that seeks to bridge the gap between technology and the human brain. Or has he? When the Wall Street Journal reported <laughs> on an SEC filing claiming that Neuralink had raised $27 million out of a $100 million investment goal, Elon Musk himself refuted it on Twitter, saying Neuralink is not raising money. And when the author of the report asked for clarification on the filing, Musk responded with, let me check on that for you. Oh, found her answer right here. And then he posted, shit fire, which is incredible. What an age we live in when a billionaire can say that right to someone's face. On the other hand, though, these emojis are pretty vague. Mm. Maybe it was a genuine response to the question, and we just all misinterpreted what the fire emoji followed by the poop emoji means. Maybe <laughs> yeah, he means- Yeah, 27 million flaming shit. Pile dollars. Yeah. So what does this mean regarding Neuralink and the money? Well, Neuralink definitely took in money, but we have no idea what for, other than Musk saying that it wasn't part of a fundraising push or shit fire. So maybe we've just all been bamboozled and Elon Musk is actually funneling all the Neuralink money into building his secret underwater lair because you can never have too many layers. Am I right? Yeah, what am I, a dip? of the bean variety, or the seven variety? Oh, layers. Yeah. <laughs> Killing it. Elon Musk wants to bring the electric vehicle revolution to the next stage by making an all-electric semi-truck that can be used for shipping. He's even planning on unveiling his version sometime next month. But his all-electric truck might not be coming fast enough. That's right. Because Cummins, an engine manufacturer, beat Musk to the punch and unveiled their own all-electric Class 7 heavy-duty truck. A girthy machine. A wide beast. <laughs> I see what's happening here. Cummins autochotive. <laughs> I'm sorry. you say autochode? I said autochotive instead of motive. <laughs> it was not good. Cummins prematurely released truck will be available in 2019 and has a 100 mile range, which is a massive amount of coverage by Cummins and is ideal for shipping within cities or ports or going into tunnels. It could just go in and out of tunnels all day long for at least 100 miles. Wouldn't be that boring either. Not the way they do it. When the Tesla truck gets unveiled, electric truck competition will start to grow even stiffer. So we hope Cummins doesn't blow this chance. Cummins engine can recharge in an hour, but they will get that down to a 20 minute recharge by 2020, which is... A lot better than I can do. I was gonna say it. I could own up to it. 
And unlike Tesla, Cummins won't make the entire truck on their own, but they will provide the engines and partner with other companies to provide the truck bodies. They need to have some beefy partners to provide those girthy truck bods. Uh, we can't wait to see what the climax of Cummins engineering will be, but it's coming. And before we go, it's time for your must-see moment of the week. I'll get a towel. Oh. We like to think of Elon Musk as a pretty reasonable guy and also our real father, but we were a bit shocked to see his reply when someone asked him if hashtag chemtrails are real. Quoth the Elon, that's so real. Anyone going to that much trouble must really care. I, I gladly follow the commands, but they're so freaking obtuse. And at first I was like, what? what? Chemtrails confirmed? But then I realized he was probably making a clever tongue in cheek joke, kind of like, all those people online who are just like, the earth is flat and I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> Look at how stupid I sound because I fly in the face of science. But what if he wasn't joking? Uh, but he has to be because chemtrails aren't a thing. But <laughs> what if they were? They're not. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Musk Watch. Chemtrails aren't a thing. Bye. Hey, what? For watching this week's Muskwatch, remember to like and comment below. That's all. Don't expect some sort of witty or whimsical reason to do it, Jeffrey. No, it just helps us make more videos. Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag Muskwatch! Oh, yeah! Wow! Sounds keep coming! Like the truck. Remember that? It was a good show. Yeah. Remember that joke? Yeah. Toot toot. <laughs>